and centre. Todd. Bradshaw to Todd. Sheffield's free kick and Ince would do well not to express an opinion. He's a volatile character boy, so much talent with his feet. And too ready with his tongue sometimes. Nice little flick on and it was just too high for Whitehouse. And Garner at the near post. The perfect flick on. You rehearse those time and time again on the training ground. And you hope for one or two to come off. That was beautifully done, but it just flew inches too high for Whitehouse. Bruce just saved it from going for the corner. Agana near post, Dean at the far. And Booker coming in too, but Pallister was above the ball. Bruce's header, and then Ince, and now Wallace. Brave header by Gannon, and there may be some profit from it. Whitehouse, oh! It was asking for it, and Agana couldn't give it. Whitehouse did some good work here, he dummied the shot, then played it, and how much did Agana miss by? A couple of inches, not more. Dane Whitehouse scored a goal at Bradford last Saturday that was his first for Sheffield United. Hughes to Wallace. Oh, he's got a bit of room. Hill has gone to cover him. Bradshaw behind Hill. And Wallace has beaten them both with ease. And Tracy got down as McClare Got a knee to the ball, it looked. But Wallace there just dismissed Hill and Bradshaw. Gone. And now, as time to look, came off Booker, then off McClare, and Tracy smothered it. But there's the real threat. Forward by Hughes and Robbins is onside. Can he pull it back? Corner. I thought it went out for a goal kick. So did Stancliffe, uh, so did uh, Tracy, and so did a lot of the Sheffield United fans behind that goal. Wallace. Good back header. McClare. McClare against the bar, and then McClare on the rebound from the corner. And so, they will be wanting to know, was that really a corner or was it a goal kick? Let's have a look at the goal itself. McClare's header, and then his left foot. And that's his third goal in four games. And we'll just have another look at this. And did the whole of the ball cross the line or not? now for McLean. Robbins in the middle, Wallace on this side, Hughes going in, Ince going in. Four there if McLean can cross. Hughes for one, two and offside. McLean was allowed to run by the Sheffield United back four and was pretty clearly offside. Ten men behind the ball for Manchester United. Pallister for McClare. Duxbury racing ahead of him. Good pass into his stride. Three to cross to. This is Hughes. Sheffield United were a bit stretched for defenders. And that has left Wallace in the clear. The shot, I think, was going wide anyway. Martin. Hughes. 
Duxbury. Again, Wallace unmarked, but offside. Cross comes right through to Wallace, but he was offside. Alex Ferguson, who's come down to the bench in this second half, has been on his feet more than he's been sitting down, expostulating, gesticulating. Wallace. Looks like he's heading for goal, and he tried to float a bender. Didn't work for him. Good idea. Go for goal, Danny Wallace. Alistair beaten that time by Dean. It's fallen for a Ghana, and again, and this time Leighton saves. But really, a Ghana should have done better than that. That was a Ghana's first shot. The second one with his left foot was very well saved by Leighton, to his credit. It's time for the long ball now, no matter what side you are. One down in a cup tie and a minute and a bit to go. Dean. Control pass in for Todd. Todd the pull back. That was a good save. It really was needed then. And he plucked that right off Bob Booker's eyebrows. Good work by Todd. And Booker, I think, could see the net shimmering. The final whistle, Manchester United have beaten Sheffield United by a first half goal from Brian McClare. They will be one of the last four in the FA Cup this season. People have been saying to me, Manchester United's name is on the cup this season. Have you been feeling that? No, I, I, I think that's a trap to fall, you can fall into. I think you've got to earn your right to fit you win any cup, but I do think you need a little slice of luck. Um, any time I've won anything, that I've always looked back on an occasion where I said, well, would it be a bit of luck today? And I just hope we get some luck in the semi-final. <laughs> Four straight away wins for Manchester United. They've certainly earned their place to be in that semi-final draw, which we'll have live later on. Uh, here, of course, Queen's Park Rangers leading Liverpool by that goal to nil. Let's take a look at the goal, Jimmy. Yes, it was a superb good cross, goal. Good goal. Looking forward to Bad seeing it again. We have to say, really. Well, yes, but it was good. How hard uh, Simon Barker had to work, one to get to the ball, and then how hard he had to work on the cross to make sure after the dummy that he got up in the air and made Grobbler struggle. Because he was struggling, but it's that one-handed habit of his which turned round and bit him, and a beautiful volley at the end of it. You see. He didn't work quite as hard on the cross coming over as Barker worked to get the ball right over to the far post. There he is. See, if he'd gone at that with two hands, which he could have done, he'd have fallen on his back and it might have hurt, but two hands are definitely better than one in that situation. But we've seen Bruce get away with that year after year. Ball drops on the floor and he's on to it first. Wilkins took so, it beautifully, mind you, having, uh, had, oh yeah. had been, having been given the chance. Yeah, that, you see that lovely work by Barker. 